I'm your host, Phoenix, the tattooed piano teacher. Just kidding, I'm not gonna talk like that. Let's try that again. Even for an uncut, that was pretty rough. Welcome to the first ever coffee chat with Phoenix. So I'm hoping that we can do a regular sit down, conversational, sort of uncut, casual thing just between you and me, piano teacher to piano teacher. This can be a place where I chat about what's going on in my studio, some stuff maybe you can relate to. I'm hoping that eventually I'll get some questions coming in that I can help answer or point people to the right place. So I'm hoping that this will be the first of many sit down coffee chats with you, my new best friends. Hello, welcome. So if you are watching this, first of all, I don't know how you found this because I kind of feel like I'm talking to nobody so far, but I just started on YouTube. I just started this channel. So I really don't have an audience to chat with yet, which is okay. Eventually I would love to chat about whatever topics you want to chat about, but for today, I don't have any yous that I know of. So I'm just gonna chat about what I wanna chat about. But if you're watching this and you're a piano teacher, small business owner, future piano teacher, anything related to what I'm about to talk about, I would love to hear from you. Comment below, hey, I saw your video. I was the only one who watched it. If you think of any questions that maybe piano teacher to piano teacher, we could kind of hash out together in a future coffee chat, please put that down below because I honestly feel like nobody's going to watch this. So if you do watch it, please, please, please let me know. It will warm my heart. I'm at the point on my YouTube journey where like every single like and every single subscribe is like a party. I see the notification come up and I'm like, stop everything somebody liked my video or if I get like 10 views, I'm like, ah. so just know out there, YouTube people that if you somehow accidentally are seeing this video, any engagement that you send my way will be a little party in my head. Thank you very much. So in my regular videos, I'm really trying to like cater to some of the questions that I feel like new business owner, piano teacher, pianopreneurs as I'm calling it, might have about starting their business, about you know just starting out piano teaching and how much to charge and all that kind of stuff. So I really am creating like these information packed, well scripted, well, hopefully I'm that's what I'm going for, videos. But I'm hoping that this can be a place like we're just chilling at my desk. I've got my workout clothes on. I'm all sweaty because I just went for a long walk and it is August. Um, I did do my makeup today because I had a public event, which I will talk about later in this chat. Um, where was I going with that? I don't know. So let's chat. This is my favorite coffee cup that my friend got me from my favorite local roaster. So grab a coffee or a tea. Let's sit down and chat. Delightful. Normally I would do an iced coffee. Today we're doing hot. I don't know why, we just are. So what I've been up to lately. Well, today was the live award ceremony for my studio's summer long event. We call it the Chord Olympics. So it's basically like the a, a piano Olympic event. So we had this like competition going and I was handing out medals and we had like performances and all that stuff. So it's kind of like a recital, but it was like a different thing. I've never done it quite like this before where we actually like rented a venue and had a live ceremony. But like the response that I got from the parents and the kids was like really, really positive. So I'm thinking about writing something up about that, like how I did that because I created all my own materials and I like, I created these checklists for the students to keep track of their progress. And then I created the final tests and like the judging sheet and all that. So I'm like, I could probably share this with some other piano teachers and then they could like host this sort of event in their piano studio without doing all the, 
you know, creation work and like thinking through it, like I could have it all scheduled out for them. So like if you are thinking about increasing engagement in your studio over the summer and you're looking for like some sort of an incentive thing, uh, doing like a competition like that, oh my goodness, such engagement from the students. Like the first thing they do when they come into the studio is like, you know, how's my team doing? What's my score? And all this is like super positive. Um, yeah, super positive feedback from the students and the parents and really like kind of a low cost thing to run in the studio. So if you are a piano teacher, studio owner, future piano teacher, and that sounds interesting to you, then let me know down in the comments because I could make a video about that or I could like package it all up and like charge a small fee as like, here's all the materials. Now you can do it in your studio without having to do any of the prep work. So let me know if that sounds interesting to you. But uh, yeah, so today was the concluding day of the Court Olympics for my studio. Yeah, it was really cool. Fall scheduling. I'm in the middle of fall scheduling. So it is currently, um, as I'm filming this, is August 13th. And so now's the time when we have to think of like school year schedules and I have a daughter. So like my schedule changes slightly in the school year and I have to make that happen depending on what all her sports schedules are and her school schedules. And you know, I need to be her chauffeur. So my piano lessons are all scheduled kind of around her schedule, you know, <laughs> single mom life. And so I sent out a, um, I like to do a Google form like survey basically to all of my families and I have to make it like a super simple survey. Otherwise a lot of them won't do it, but <laughs> just like, will you be continuing? Um, here are the policies. You still agree to these and then like asking them about their schedule. So I've got all those replies. Hopefully everybody replied and the due date was tomorrow. So tomorrow my task Mondays are always like big studio administrative tasks. So tomorrow my task is going to be going through all of those responses and writing down like whose schedules are changing, who needs to move times, who wants to do a different length of lesson or whatever, and then figuring all that out. So that always takes me a lot of time. If you're a piano teacher, I'd love to hear a little bit about how you schedule, like going from season to season, because for me, I just, it seems like I can never keep the same schedule year round. Like I want to because literally takes hours, hours of my time, like fitting the piano, the piano pieces. <laughs> oh my God. If you're a music teacher and you accidentally replace everyday normal words with like music terms on a regular basis, say, yes, I'm a piano dork too in the comments because that's like a little, that's like an everyday occurrence for me. I'm like, why did I just say forte instead of fridge, you know, or whatever. Anyways, what was I saying? I know I said piano instead of a word, but I don't remember what the word was that I said. We'll start that thought over again. I always feel like it would be great to just keep the same teaching schedule year round and then everyone just keeps rolling, but it just never works out that way. And it's not all their fault. Like I can't blame it on them. It's because my schedule changes, you know, as a single mom, I've got to like be at a certain place at a certain time and that changes. So then I have to change my schedule so that I can accommodate what I need to do and where I need to be. So the other thing that I wanted to chat about today is teachers pay teachers. I create resources for my studio and I sell some of them on teachers pay teachers. Now, if you're not familiar with Teachers Pay Teachers, which I will henceforth refer to as TPT because it's a mouthful, TPT, it is just what it sounds like. It is teachers who make resources and then put them up on this website for sale to other teachers to save them time and lesson planning and creating resources and all that. So it's like teachers helping out teachers. The teacher who created the resource is sharing the resource, thank you to them. And then the teacher who purchases the resource is paying the other teacher. Thank you to them. So it kind of works out in the end. Anyways, it is mostly geared towards classroom teachers. Like that is the majority of people creating resources and purchasing the resources. So I wasn't sure how this whole venture was going to go as a private piano teacher creating resources on there because it really isn't a place where I think a lot of piano teachers would go like type in 
teacherspayteachers.com as soon as they need something for their studio, for their students. But I thought, hey, let's give it a try. Uh, I've heard great things about a lot of people that have made a lot of money on Teachers Pay Teachers and their, you know, their stores sell a lot of resources and it's a digital product. So you just kind of put it up there and then it's passive, it, passive income from there. So I thought it sounded pretty good. So I started my Teachers Pay Teachers store in like the end of March or beginning of April, 2023. So it's only been about five months that my store has been live. That's been an interesting journey. I love creating resources, like it's something I would do anyways. So then it's just a matter of like making them a little more polished for the general public, like something someone would actually wanna spend money on. And then you have to do like the title and the description and the thumbnail, kind of like creating on YouTube actually. You gotta do all that stuff so that people actually want to buy the resource. Uh, want to click on it and all that. So it is like a whole nother world. I have watched so many YouTube videos and listened to podcasts and stuff from teachers pay teachers sellers who are like super successful and kind of getting into that world. So I don't know how much of a place there is for a private piano teacher to sell to other piano teachers on there, like who's been buying my resources so far. Is it music classroom teachers or are there some piano teachers finding my stuff? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, my shop is the Tattooed Piano Teacher. So that is the name of my shop on Teachers Pay Teachers. And yeah, that has been a fun adventure and I hope it turns into, you know, a little extra income on the side. So the reason I'm bringing this up is because if you're watching this, perhaps you are a piano teacher and I would be curious to know, have you heard of Teachers Pay Teachers? Do you shop on TPT? Would you shop on TPT? Have you ever made anything or sold anything on TPT? Where do you find your resources? Do you create your own resources? Like I just wanna hear other people's experience because I've never heard of another piano teacher who like blew up on TPT or anything like that. I think it's mostly classroom teachers, but you know, hey, if there has to be a first, maybe it could be me, I don't know. But I am just a little shop right now. I think currently I have like 25 or so products up in my shop. But yeah, I mean, I've made a little bit of money. So if you're interested in my journey uh, as a teacher's pay teacher's seller, I would be happy to do like an income report or like kind of, what's the word, document my journey with that if anyone's interested, I don't know. All right, that is definitely enough of me talking, so I'm gonna wrap it up here, but give me some topics to talk about on the next coffee chat. Thank you for watching, and I'll link the next coffee chat right up here, but please leave some sort of engagement below so I know you found me. That will literally just make my day. So I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.